Welcome to Industrial Made Easy, Automatic Sorting. If you've been following in the series, we've set up a couple of modules that we're now going to tie together into an automatic sorting system. So that's going to include our auto furnace, our auto crafter, and our automatic TC filler. So we're going to set up some drop boxes downstairs. And we're going to run all the loot into a closet just inside uh, my front door here. I usually use a square. Anywhere from 48 boxes is fine. And now I'm going to go to the outer ring and place two drop boxes by every door. Storage adapter on each. Then we're going to use one conveyor. And on the out, we're going to connect it to the drop closet we've set up. And we're going to run the in to all of our drop boxes in our outer ring. And we'll simply connect the boxes together. Okay, we'll set up a new branch and power the conveyor. Okay, as you can see, it's pulling metal inside. When the quantities are bigger, it, it takes a couple ticks. And we'll be splitting it into six in this closet. And now we're ready to run a main line upstairs. So we're going to set up in the auto smelter first. And we're going to set up a splitter and a combiner. We'll do a combiner on the right, splitter on the left. And this splitter and combiner are going to carry our main line. So we'll go down to our drop boxes, run a hose up to our splitter. Our left conveyor, which is bringing ore to the furnace, we're going to connect that to the splitter. And we're going to connect both boxes to the right conveyor out so that it pulls the metal into both boxes and we'll use it as overflow. And we'll take the industrial out put it in the combiner to the main line and we'll connect the splitter to the main line and now we'll run this up into our loot room so we'll need quite a few splitters for this to extend your hose up simply add more splitters in the sequence so we'll take the industrial out run it up the splitter and into our loot room. And I usually set up a tree like this for my splitters. From this point we're going to need a conveyor and a storage adapter. One conveyor per box type and one storage adapter per box. Okay, we'll connect the splitter to our main line, and we'll run it to our conveyor and our conveyor into our med box, which is connected by a combiner with our auto crafter. We'll set our filter, and we'll come over to the toolbox and we'll do the same. and we'll just end up repeating the process for each box type. Remember to always set your filters. And if you're running out of uh, nodes to connect to, simply add another splitter. Okay, I'm going to set up my 
guns and armor here. Ammo goes in the combiner before going in the box. I do two types of armor box. And we'll connect them all together. And finally each conveyor back to the main tree. Okay, now we just have to set our filters. For guns, I find I don't want a lot of the weapons to come up to the main loot room. So I set a custom filter. For ammo, I find the general category is fine. And for clothes, I like to do one set for good kits and the other box will be for hazmats and accessories. Okay, now we'll set up the components and fuel by the TC. I like to place s splitters near my conveyors just so the loot room doesn't look like spaghetti even though it's going to no matter what Okay, we're nearly complete in this loot room. We just have resources. So we'll move the splitter a little closer to the conveyors for less hoses. We'll extend our main line. And we will repeat the process. And there you have a hooked up loot room. I'm likely missing items on my sort filter as I find them in my Dropbox. I simply add them to my loot filters. 
some common ones we've missed are ar armored door, uh, grenade launcher. Okay, set up our power. And we can turn on our conveyors. And we can see it is pulling metal from our furnace. The system is online. Okay, we'll turn on each of our conveyors now. And we'll do a s simple test. are all being pulled by the system. This also means that any ore you're bringing back will drop into your furnace, cook, and be sent to your metal or sulfur box, which will then be sent on to your tool cupboard. Okay, we've forgotten to do fridge, but not to worry, it's, it's quite easy to add another filter to the system as you find more items you've forgotten. So we'll just add one more conveyor. Don't forget one more power on your branch. Set your filter and connect it to the main line. Thanks for watching. One more in the series where we'll do the super logger.